can I start by apologising for not being with you at the Compass Conference today? I'm going to be in Wrexham talking to Labour's National Policy Forum. But I wanted to send you a message. I wanted to send you a message because of the importance I attach to Compass as an organisation and the importance I attach to the work that all of you are doing fighting against this government and fighting for a progressive future for Britain. First of all, let me say something about Compass. Now 40,000 members, one of the most dynamic organisations on the progressive side of politics that we have in Britain. And when you think about lots of the themes that Compass have been pursuing over the last few years, its work on high pay now leading to a high pay commission, rightly saying that we need responsibility at the top of our society. Its work on loan sharks, rightly saying that it is a scandal that the people, the poorest people in our society, get the worst deal in terms of credit. Its work on the banks, rightly calling for a repeat of the bank bonus tax because it is the right thing to do in terms of fair taxation and the right thing to do in terms of what we can do in, with those resources for our society. Think of all that work uh, that Compass does and it has led the way on many of the issues that matter to our society. So I want to thank Compass and in particular Neil Lawson for the work that he has led uh, over the years for Compass. Now, I also want to say something about where we are politically. We are 13 months into this Conservative-led government. We know that they are a hopelessly incompetent government, U-turning on a whole range of things. The latest, can you believe it, on circus animals. They can't even get that right. But they are not just incompetent. They are reckless as well. Reckless on the National Health Service, reckless in terms of what they are doing on the economy. Incompetent, reckless, and most of all, the same old Tories. Because sure, the veneer has changed, but look at what they are doing to our communities. Look up and down this country, and we see the damage they are doing. And that is what we are fighting against. But you know what I know and what you know as well is this. The next election will not simply be won by Labour being a good opposition against this government. It's got to be won by us changing as well. And one of the areas, and this is where I'm going to be speaking to the National Policy Forum uh, today, one of the areas where we need, need to change most of all from New Labour is, a way the, is around the way we do our politics. I, I remember growing up in the 1980s uh, as, a, as a kid. Some of the things that were done in the 1980s to bring get greater democracy to the Labour Party were right. The problem, though, in the 1980s was that internal Labour Party democracy was not linked enough to what the public were thinking, and we went on to lose three uh, general uh, elections during the 1980s and into 1992. The problem, though, in the 1990s, and then particularly in the 2000s, was the reaction to that. Because we went from being a party where we weren't sufficiently in touch with the public to an idea that you could have a leadership that connected to the public without the party. And that was wrong. And it was wrong and it was proved to be wrong because actually we were a party that lost touch on many of the issues that mattered to people, on housing, uh, on issues around immigration, the pressures uh, that were, were created, on the bankers and what was happening there. And so therefore the task of party reform and the task that I hope many of you will be engaged in it is the task of showing that we, the Labour Party, can be a party accountable to our party members, but they too are accountable and work with the public and are connected with the public. And that's what the reforms that I'll be talking about both at the National Policy Forum today and in the coming weeks and months are all about. A party which is genuinely connected to its members, a party which is a movement. You know, we have four million trade union levy payers up and down this country. They are connected to our party, but they do not feel part of that, our party. That has to change. They have to be part of local Labour parties at every level. That's the only way we will become a movement. We have to make sure that members feel they have a voice in our policy making, but members who are connected to the public, who are talking to the, to the public. And we can learn from what community organisations like London Citizens do. And there's something else as well, the way we make policy. Think about the idea of the living wage. 
Think about the idea of safe havens for young people at risk from gun crime in London, a new idea being pil piloted by London citizens. Those weren't ideas that simply came out of think tanks. Those ideas didn't come from people sitting in Whitehall. They came from the real lived experiences of people uh, up and down this country. That is such an important lesson, not just about the way we are accountable as a party, but the way we make policy as a party as well. So I think that we can bring about very exciting party reforms which make the Labour Party a genuine, living, breathing movement again, and I hope that you will be part of it. Let me just end uh, with this thought. Robin Cook spoke five years ago in your, at your conference in June 2006, and he said that the task for Labour was to reinvent itself, renew itself as a progressive home. That is what my mission is about. I'm proud that we have won back some of the progressive voters that we lost over time, but I know we need to broaden our coalition. I do believe there is a progressive majority in this country. There is a progressive majority that believes in our values, in the values that we share, values of equality, social justice, and fairness. I know that many of the people at the conference today, many of the people involved with Compass, are the people at the forefront of those ideas. I want to thank you for your work. I want to wish you luck with the conference today. And I look forward to working with you over the years ahead to make sure that we can build the kind of fairer, more equal, more just country that we all believe in.